Hi everyone. Let us see in this video how to determine the self inductance, mutual inductance as well as coefficient of coupling for a single phase transformer. Before going to the experiment, let me give you a brief idea on this experiment and then we will enter into the practical details. We all know that actually in a transformer there are two windings. One is uh, the primary winding and another one is the secondary winding. If we assume the inductance of the primary winding as uh, L1 and uh, the inductance of uh, the secondary winding as uh, L2, as we also have a mutual flux which links both the windings, we have the third inductance which is the mutual inductance M. So in this experiment we will find or we will determine four parameters one is the self inductance L1, another self inductance L2, mutual inductance M and the coefficient of coupling K. Now we need to know the following mathematical expressions in order to find all these things. We know that the voltage across the impedance is given by I times uh, impedance but practically as the resistance is very much less than the inductive reactance we can write V as almost equal to I times J omega L. So from the magnitude you can write the inductance as the ratio of uh, V over I times omega. As we are finding the inductance on the primary side we need to take the voltages and currents related to primary. For the inductance of secondary side we need to consider the voltages and currents related to secondary. These are the mutual inductance formulae. In order to find M12 we need to take the ratio of V1 over I2. In order to find M21 we need to take the ratio of V2 over I1 into omega. The actual mutual inductance M can be obtained by taking the average of M12 and M21. Now we know three parameters the mutual inductance M, L1 and L2. By using these three we can find the coefficient of coupling using the formula M over root of L1 into L2. So this experiment is conducted in uh, two steps. In the first step we will connect the circuit as shown in the diagram. Here we have a auto transformer as well as a transformer. As uh, a first step of the experiment by keeping the auto transformer in minimum position we will close the DPST switch. After closing this by varying the auto transformer we, uh, we can vary the voltage supplied to the primary. Similarly, voltage supplied to the secondary as well as the current uh, drawn by the primary. We will note down all these uh, parameters. We will consider actually the 230 volt side as the primary side and uh, 115 side as the secondary side. So the voltage across 230 is the primary voltage V1 and the current flowing through 230 volts uh, is I1 as well as the volt meter which is connected across uh, 115 side measures the voltage V2. Okay. After finding uh, V1, I1 and V2, see here we need to tabulate the readings I1, V1 and V2. From these three we can find L1 and M21. For those we have already given the mathematical expressions. This is the first step. In the second step we will connect the circuit like this just there is a interchange in the connections. Previously we have given the connections at 230 side. Now we are giving the connections at 115 side. So keeping the auto transformer in minimum position, we will close the DPST switch and then we will vary the auto transformer in order to measure different voltages and currents. As 115 side is considered as the secondary, the voltage across 115 side is a V2 and the current flowing through that particular uh, side as I2 and the voltmeter which is connected across a 230 volt side is nothing but V2. Okay. So now the voltages are uh, the voltages at 115 side are uh, v, V2 and the voltage at 
230 side as V1 and the current flowing through 115 side is considered as I2. Okay. So after finding these three values for different steps means by varying the auto transformer we will get the different voltages and different currents. After evaluating this, after finding all these things, we will tabulate the readings as follows. So here the current is I2, the current measured by the ammeter and the voltage across the voltmeter at 115 side as V2 and the voltage across 230 side as V1. From these we can find L2 and M12. Okay. So the first and uh, important uh, equipment which is required for this experiment is uh, an auto transformer. This is the auto transformer or we can call it also as a variac. The input voltage for this auto transformer is uh, 230 volts and uh, the output can be varied from 0 to 270 volts. Right? And another equipment which is required for this experiment is a transformer. So we are cons we are taking here a 2 kVA, uh, 230 volts by 115 side, uh, 115 volts uh, transformer. So the primary side is uh, 230 volts and the secondary side is uh, 115, and the power rating is uh, 2 kVA. Now let us see the connections. Okay, if you recall the circuit diagram, first we are connecting the phase terminal of the auto transformer to the ammeter so i am connecting it to the ammeter as uh, the range is 0 to 2 amperes i am connecting it to 2 and another terminal of the ammeter means uh, we are connecting two wires to the ammeter another terminal if you recall the circuit diagram you can understand this okay so there are two wires which are taken from another end of the ammeter one is connected to the voltmeter and another one is connected to 230 side because we are now uh, doing the experiment on 230 side so one end of the ammeter is connected to voltmeter and another end is connected to 230 side later i need to connect the voltmeter another terminal now we left with another terminal for the voltmeter so I am connecting another terminal of this uh, old meter to this uh, neutral, okay, to the neutral of uh, auto transformer because auto transformer has uh, two terminals, one is the phase and the neutral. So the neutral is connected to uh, the neutral is connected to old meter another terminal as well as uh, uh, this uh, transformer. After that, I am giving the connections for another voltmeter. So if you recall the circuit diagram, the uh, another voltmeter is connected across uh, 115 side of the transformer. So 0 volts is connected to one end of the voltmeter and uh, 115 terminal is connected to another end of the voltmeter. Okay, you can observe from this. Okay, so in this way we can give the connections according to the circuit diagram. Now, so before closing the DPST switch, we need to ensure that the auto transformer is minimum condition. Now, after ensuring that, we closed the switch and first of all, I am setting a rated voltage. So the primary side rated voltage is 230 and the secondary side is 115. As the primary side is connected to 300 volts range, we need to multiply the value which is obtained in the voltmeter by 2 and in the secondary side there is no need to multiply. So in both the voltmeters we must get 115 volts in order to supply the rated voltage. For this purpose I am varying the auto transformer. See the voltmeter uh, readings, the, see the readings on the voltmeter. So I am slowly varying the auto transformer until I got 115 volts okay if in one voltmeter I got 115 it indicates the voltage is uh, 230 in another voltmeter I got 115 so it is 115 itself see the current 
I got the current as 0 0.15 amperes. Now I need to reduce the voltage in uh, step by step. So you can do in this way also. So what I am trying to do is I am reducing the voltage to 160. So you can observe here. So I have reduced the voltage. Okay. So the current value like that by varying the auto transformer you will get various values for uh, primary voltage, secondary voltage and the primary current V1, V2 and I1. Okay. So you need to note down all these values in order to find the inductance uh, L1, L2 and M21. Okay. Again uh, after completion of the experiment you need to keep uh, the auto transformer in minimum condition again and close the and uh, open the switch. Okay. Now I am giving the connections for the second circuit. So the difference between the first circuit and the second circuit is we are giving the connections at 115 side. Previously we have given the connections at a 230 volt side. Now I am giving the connections at a 115 side. Okay. See the connections. So I need to connect the phase terminal of the auto transformer to a meter as it is and a meter another terminal uh, is uh, taken with the two wires. One wire is connected to 115 side and another wire is connected to 230 side. You can observe that. Okay. Just there is only a small change in the connections. Okay. See the connections. So I am connecting uh, one voltmeter across uh, 115 side now and uh, uh, another voltmeter across uh, 230 volts. So when we are connecting uh, voltmeter across 115 side you need to select the range from 0 to 150. When you are connecting it across uh, 230 volts you need to connect the range as uh, 0 to 300. Okay. So the procedure for conducting the experiment in the second uh, stage uh, is the same as the first stage. You need to keep the auto transformer in the minimum position before closing the DPST switch and then after closing the switch you need to uh, vary the auto transformer. So for different uh, values of voltages you will get different values of current. In this way after finding V1, V2, I1, I2 in both the experiments we can find self inductance L1, self inductance L2, mutual inductance M and the coefficient of coupling K. See here also in this step I get the rated voltage by varying the auto transformer and we need to note down the ammeter reading. Later I need to reduce the voltage. So I have reduced it. See here the voltage is almost equal to 76 and again the current like this for various uh, steps of uh, auto transformer we will get various voltage and uh, current values. Okay. This is the way of conducting experiment. Thank you very much.